Welcome to the National Women's Hall of Fame, located here in the historic Seneca Knitting Mill in Seneca Falls, New York. More than five decades ago, Seneca Falls resident Shirley Hartley imagined a permanent home for extraordinary American women. She believed women deserved to be celebrated and their achievements remembered. With that, the National Women's Hall of Fame was born. Today, 53 years, 30 induction ceremonies later, the hall continues to lift up women's voices, honor their achievements, and tell their stories. The accomplishments of our 302 inductees serve as inspiration to people across the nation and around the world. We are proud to call Seneca Falls home, and we celebrate the role that this entire region played in our history. The National Women's Hall of Fame rests along the banks of the Cuga Seneca Canal. It reminds us constantly of the importance of this waterway to social and political conversations about abolitionism, temperance, and the women's rights movement. As commerce flowed up and down the canal, so did information and ideas. In 1848, Seneca Falls hosted the nation's first convention dedicated to addressing the concerns of American women. It concluded with the signing of the Declaration of Sentiments, which provided a foundation for conversations and actions to create a more equitable nation. This groundbreaking convention was organized in just a week's time. Four of the five organizers were members of the Quakers who lived throughout this region and whose commitment to equality and community was a platform for social activism. This region is in fact saturated with the concept of equality. For centuries before the arrival of Europeans, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy thrived, its matriarchal society respecting women's voices in all important decisions. The Haudenosaunee culture is infused with equal rights for women, including equal participation in both government and societal roles. This way of life inspired suffragists to work for their own sense of equality by seeing true democracy in action. Haudenosaunee, suffragists, abolitionists, Quakers, members of social and religious reform movements that call upstate New York home. This region sits at a crucial intersection of history. The constant fight for social justice and equality has opened the minds of millions. It is the reason that the National Women's Hall of Fame is proud to call this area home. Spanning 20 miles, the Cuga Seneca Canal connects Montezuma to Geneva and to the larger Erie Canal system that crosses the entire state of New York. Its waters touch communities and neighborhoods with rich stories to tell about the women's rights movement. With 302 inductees, the National Women's Hall of Fame has countless stories to tell too. Artists, athletes, entrepreneurs, educators, philanthropists, public servants, scientists, and others whose work defies categorization. Each woman we honor has a unique story that helps us understand the complexities of our past, the realities of our present, and the possibilities for our future. We are thrilled that you have joined us today as we continue our mission of showcasing great women and inspiring all. Welcome to the National Women's Hall of Fame's 30th induction ceremony.